If you light a lamp for somebody, it will also brighten your path. It is our tradition to commence any auspicious occasions with blessings and positive energy. Ladies and gentlemen, we take the honor of welcoming our distinguished guests to join us in the lighting of the traditional oil lamp. First and foremost, we are honored to invite Professor S. Sri Satnaraya, Vice Chancellor, University of Vietnam. Followed by Dr. S. Vasandarupa, Dean, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna. Followed by Professor Ms. S. Siamadik Swachandran, Dean, Faculty of Technology, University of Jaffna. Followed by Dr. R. Surindra Kumar, Dean, Faculty of Medicine, University of Jaffna. Followed by Professor P. Rajan, Dean, Faculty of Science, University of Jaffna. Followed by Ms. S. Sri Muralidharan, Dean, Faculty of Hindu Studies, University of Vietnam. We are happy to invite Mr. K. Maheshan, Government Agent, Jaffna, to light up the lamp. We are happy to invite Mr. T. Sananjayan, Additional Director, Small Enterprise of Development, Jaffna. Followed by Mr. T, Mrs. T. Babu, Commissioner, Development of Cooperative Development, to light in the oil. It's our pleasure to invite former Vice Chancellor and External Council Member, Professor Balasundra Pillai, to light up the lamp. Followed by, uh, we accordingly invite to light up the lamp, Chancellor of the University of Bonia, the former Vice Chancellor, University of Jaffna, and former Dean of Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna, Professor S. Morganadas. We kindly call upon Mr. Vikandiban, Registrar, University of Jaffna, to light up the lamp. Followed by Professor K. Ogata, Jaika Chief Advisor, to light up the oil lamp. Followed by Mr. M. Ganesha Lingam, Deputy Registrar, Administration Branch, University of Jaffna. Followed by Mr. S. Tavasilin, Chairman, Molai Milk Processing Industry, Molai TV, Sri Lanka. Followed by Professor Ishwara Mohan, Director of University Business Linkage, University of Jaffna. Followed by Dr. N. Kanan, Jubil Coordinator, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Gaffna. We cordially invite Professor Ms. J. Chinaya, Head of the Department, Department of Animal Science, Faculty of Agriculture, to light up the lab. Followed by Dr. Loga Pradeeban, Head of the Department, Department of Agronomy, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Yasna. Kindly call Professor P. Ravirajan, Dean, Faculty of Science, University of Jaffna, to light up the lab. Followed by Mr. Kane Suresh Kumar, Bursa, University of Jaffna. Ladies and gentlemen, on this note, we would like to call the following dignitaries on the head table to grace the event. Professor S. Sri Satpudaraja, Vice Chancellor, University of Jaffna, Sri Lanka. Dr. S. Vasantaruba, Dean, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna, Sri Lanka. Professor T. Ishwara Mohan, UBL Director, University of Jaffna. Dr. M. Karnan, UBL Coordinator, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna. Mr. S. Tavasilan, Chairman, Mullay Milk Processing Industry. Dr. Mrs. S. Pratipan, Principal Investigator and Senior Lecturer, 
Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna, Mr. S. Sivadarshan, Research Team Member and former student of Faculty of Agriculture. Agriculture was the first occupation of man and as it embraced the whole earth, it is the foundation of all other industries. The Faculty of Agriculture of University of Jaffna was established in 1981 with six departments. The willingness and commitment of staff and students are added strength to the faculty to earn this reputation. We are proud to be a part of the Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna. Animal science, the study of the biological functions of domestic and captive animals and their utilization by people, focus on modern, efficient and humane way to care for and make the best use of animals who share our life. The Department of Animal Science is offering different courses from animal rearing to animal-based product formulation and commercialization with on-farm and industrial training. Not only that, we have a livestock and poultry farm, which is one of the income generating farm in University of Yemen. Now, we are turning to new pathway. Yes, we are on the way of agribusiness. This is a great initiation from the Department of Animal Science, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna to commercialize our students' innovations and inventions. Therapeutic bell syrup incorporated drinking yogurt. Currently, people are concerned about their health and looking for food products produced without artificial additives. Accordingly, the product was developed using natural bell food while satisfying all sensory and nutritional requirements. Even though the medicinal value of bell food is well known since ancient time, this, is, this fruit is still underutilized because of the difficulties in accessing this fruit by all kinds of people in society. Our research team has provided a good solution to these problems by incorporating this fruit syrup into the most delicious milk product, yogurt. Through our product, the medicinal value of bear food is going to be reached to all peoples all over the country. We are very pleased to introduce our research team members who worked hard towards the success of this journey. Mr. S. Anand Kumar, lecturer, Department of Animal Science, Faculty of Ag Agriculture, University of Jaffna. Dr. Mrs. S. Pratipan, Principal Investigator and Senior Lecturer, Department of Animal Science, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna. Mrs. J. Tirichenduran, Lecturer, Department of Animal Science, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna. Mr. S. Sivadarshan, Research Team Member and a former student of Faculty of Agriculture and externally collaborated with Professor D. K. Dinesh Jasena and Dr. Deshani Mudunayaka from Uwa Valasa University. We now take the pleasure of introducing our energetic, vibrant personality, Dr. N. Kandem, Head of the Department and Senior Lecturer, Department of Agricultural Engineering and Faculty Coordinator, Jubil, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Yafna, to welcome all of you with his official welcome address. Very good morning to ladies and gentlemen. I'm indeed highly delighted to stand here at this special occasion to deliver my welcome address. We all have been gathered here today to celebrate the commercial launching of Bale Incorporated Drinking Jogger, which is the product of the Department of Animal Science, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna, Sri Lanka. Moreover, I am proud to say that uh, this is the first commercial product coming out of the faculty into the community cycle with the help of Mulai milk processing industry. Hence, this day is a remarkable day in the history of the Faculty of Agriculture. I am therefore highly privileged to warmly welcome the following dignitaries to this auspicious event. Professor S. Sri Satnaraja, 
our Vice Chancellor, University of Jaffna, Dr. S. Vasandaruba, the Dean, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna, Professor T. Iswara Mohan, Director, Jubiel Jaffna, Mr. Anur Agavan, Jubiel Manager, Jubiel Jaffna, Dr. Mrs. S. Pradeepan, the Principal Investigator of this project and her team, Mr. M. Pradeepan, Additional Government Agent, District Secretariat, Jaffna. Mr. T. Tananjian, Additional Director, Simol Enterprise Development, Jaffna. Mrs. T. Babu, Commissioner, Department of Cooperative De Development. Mrs. L. Nirubaraj, Assistant Secretary to the Governor. Mrs. Ilamadi Sabalinkam, Secretary to the Governor. Again, I am highly delighted to welcome our Japan team. They are supporting us a lot. This is my responsibility to take them into our account. Professor Ogata, Chief Advisor to the JICA. Professor K. Usami, JICA expert. Ms. M. Takayama, JICA coordinator. Mr. S. Tavasilan, Chairman, Milai Milk Processing Industry and his team, Council Members, Deans of Faculties, Bursar of the University, Register of the University, Kets of Departments, Academic Staff, Academic Support Staff, Marketing Representatives of various firms and uh, students of various faculties. Welcoming you all to this event makes me highly excited. Moreover, the contribution given by the UBL Jeffna, headed by Professor T. Iswara Mohan and his team, to make this commercial launching successful is highly commendable. Furthermore, positive directions given by our Vice Chancellor made us highly organized towards the success of this journey. The Faculty of Agriculture is now highly energetic to propose meaningful solutions for problems of national importance. Using sophisticated facilities provided by the Japan government, they have provided us a sophisticated research complex which is now highly useful for the development of meaningful solutions for the problems of our nation. To end with, once again, I warmly welcome all the participants to this remarkable event in the history of the Faculty of Agriculture. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for the warm welcome at us. Next on agenda, we warmly welcome our director, UBL University of Jaffna, who was the greatest financial support from the initial development process till now. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to welcome Professor T. Ishwar Mohan to deliver the address of gathering. So very good morning, sir, our Vice Chancellor, Sir Professor Sri Sakul Raja, and Mr. Dawa Seelens, uh, Mulla Industry uh, CEO and my colleagues, uh, professors, uh, uh, well-wishers. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention in the very good morning. So on behalf of uh, UBL Jaffna, so I'm very proud and I'm very glad to address on this event because uh, this uh, mainly incorporated drinking yogurt is commercialized to the Mulai industry. And so the UBL Jaffna is worth a lot to connect this university and the industry business. So before talking about this um, Bale Incorporated Drinking Yogurt, so I am very much happy to introduce what is Jubiel Jaffna. So it will be quite interesting. So why is it? Why it has established? What is the importance of how we have been facilitating to the university community? How we have been facilitating to the industry and the community as well? So, if I, if I talk about this um, Jubiel setting up, 
So this has established uh, very recently in 2018, so with the Commission Circular, University Grant Commission. Since 2018, so University of Jaffna had a center, it's called the Jubil Jaffna, the University Business Linkage. So that's briefly named as Jubil Jaffna. So ultimate objective of this establishment, the how the university can support to the industry. So far, the university system in Sri Lanka, so we, what, what we practice, we do teaching. So we have been producing thousands of graduates annually. We do research. The most of the research outcomes published in a very reputed science um, index journals. All with the journals, publications. And so we get a credit out of it. But very few goes to the industry level, the regional level, or national level, or economic development. So that was the lacking parts. Realizing these situations, the University Grant Commission has issued a commission circular. And this is mandated these days for all universities. So now all universities have this dubial system. So we are very much happy. So the University of Jaffna also have established this since 2018 for providing the support for regional and then national economic development by providing the industrial collaboration. The most of our research in the university systems uh, we do based on our own interest. We don't concentrate so much on the regional needs. We don't so much uh, concentrate on the, what the industrial problems, what do, we, what do they face each day by day. So now this is mandate. Some or other we have to look at the industrial in the region based as well as the national based. Thus we want to boost our economy. So, do we have a vision so to achieve sustainable growth for micro, small and medium enterprises in the regional economy through a the meaningful collaboration between the university and public-private enterprises. And we have a mission to create tangible and intangible value of, to boost the economic activity of the region, micro, small, medium enterprises through mentoring, knowledge sharing, new and novel approaches, innovation, and technology transfer. So if I brief the university research to the industries, an industrial problem as university research, that has to be. So if I brief about what we contribute for the university community, so we have many faculties. So mostly we go for and identify the problem. And we identify if any novelties or any the real value research there. If you find something, so we invite them for a patent search. So we have a nice uh, commercial platforms with the UBL, and we go for a patent search, and we identify their research problems or research outcome is novel. When we identify it, it is novel, so we support for them for a patent finding immediately, if it is a patent. Also, we are searching for a um, suitable industry partners for commercialization. So that is that should be the ultimate goal of the Jubia. And we further support to the academic community. So filing the patent. So far we have filed 10 national patents and one more international patent. And this is the first uh, license agreement. So we support for the license agreement. So this is uh, first license agreement with the moonlight. And as a service for an industry, I am very much happy to mingle with the industries. So as I said before, so we are targeting the research, whatever we learn from the postgraduate program or wherever in the laboratory, availability and the facilities based on that we do the research. We don't much concentrate on the industrial part. So now it's a mandate for us. So we visit to the industries, we welcome the industries. So I'm very happy that there are many administrative officers comes, uh, so visited from the industry of connector. So we need to support as much as possible. And as far as the local and the national economy, so the, our IP should go to the region. 
and some more other that has to contribute for the economic development. So that's, that is the ultimate principle behind this establishment of two year general. So I'm very much happy that so we have official websites and we have connected with the University of Jaffna. And so this development and all achievements, uh, we have come across uh, with the support of our Vice Chancellor Professor Sri Sakunraja, always he supports because it, uh, it has a rigorous process at the university, always we have a, a number of approval process and it's very strong. So there's no word and we have a legal support as well. So with this, we are very much happy that in the last year, October 2021, we have managed to identify this uh, Bale Incorporated Bringing Docket. It was in the laboratory scale. And we have identified the Moonlight Milk, the dairy factory. It's in our region. It's based on the Udaya Pakta And we have signed a license agreement. Then since then, our research team so they, some or other, they have collaborated with the industry partners and they visited and it has incubated in a large scale. The small laboratory based techniques now it has produced in a mass scale. So it's ready for circulation among the public users. So it's a time, so we need to launch this seminar. So I'm very much happy that, so this is the first milestone for a UBL establishment and the first product in the history of the University of Life of University of Jaffna. So we are commercializing this product on behalf of Jubia, on behalf of the University of Jaffna. So I would like to inform one more thing that Jubia Jaffna is always welcome for uh, industry partners and uh, um, the general public. So we can support for, for filing the patents, the drafting license agreement, obtaining a trademark, obtain the GAB certificate and SLS certificate. So you can approach always. So we are waiting for you. Thank you very much for this occasion. Thank you very much, sir. With that gratitude, we have a great positive personality who had been a strength and support from the beginning to succeed this occasion. We are very really happy to request Dr. S. Basandaruba, Dean, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna, to deliver the address of Gedele. Deans of faculties, PERSA, Registrar, invited guest, and uh, chairman and members from the Mulai Milk Processing Industries, our other academic staffs and non academic staffs from the University of Jaffna. Good morning to you all. Today, one of the important day in the history of our faculty, because today we are successfully launching this uh, Bale Incorporated uh, Yoffet, bringing Yoffet as a commercialized product. Because uh, we have started this as a research uh, level now, now it's going to as a, in the hand of the common man. So everybody knows about what is bale fruit. Bale fruit is uh, in Tamil it is called as Nilvampala. In Singhala it is belly, and it's a uh, uh, very good uh, health beneficial properties. But it's uh, underutilized fruits because uh, due to its uh, texture and little uh, gummy material, we are unable to eat them in the fresh form. So our team uh, plan to uh, how to uh, develop a product from this because uh, they have uh, from the research team from the Department of Animal Science led by uh, Mr. Anand Kumar and his team develop a syrup from this uh, yogurt, uh, from this uh, fruit, uh, with uh, these good sensory characters. Then they have incorporated this syrup into a drinking yogurt. They have selected as a yogurt as a drinking product at various level, and finally they have uh, identified at a good optimum uh, percentage of uh, 
selecting the, with the good flavor and other characters. So this product uh, is uh, only level at, only at the uh, research level. Then uh, this team is applied for the funding for the UBL JAFCA to test the quality characters and of this ringing uh, yogurt and patent filing and other commercialization. So on behalf of our faculty of agriculture, I would like to thank UBL JAFCA for the effort to convert this uh, research level laboratory scale product uh, into a commercial level product because they help the research team to find a suitable uh, this, uh, partner for the commercialization named as uh, Moonlight Milk Processing Industry. An agreement was signed uh, between this University of Jakarta and Moonlight Milk Processing Industry during October 2021. Uh, based on this agreement, our research team members visited uh, Moonlight Milk Processing Industry for several times and this the technology transfer, they have uh, transferred their technology, they invented uh, at the laboratory scale uh, and uh, they trained the staff from the uh, Moonlight Milk Processing Industry and uh, they uh, now they have uh, developed the uh, bringing yogurt at the commercial level. They, they did some in initial uh, commercial level uh, market product also they uh, launched. Uh, it's also very successful. The, 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 trained, uh, the selected people have given very positive uh, feedback. So based on that, uh, they plan to launch the product uh, at commercial level. Earlier, we have planned to launch this in the early part of this year, but unfortunately, due to some unavoidable circumstances, we are able to launch it in time. Uh, so and finally, we are launching, uh, we are conducting the launch ceremony today. Uh, on behalf of Faculty of Agriculture, I would like to thank Moonlight Milk Processing Industry for becoming our commercial partner and help us to launch the product. At the first commercial product of the faculty, not only the faculty, the, uh, but also this first commercial product of this our University of Jakarta in, in the history of around 40 years. Uh, I will also uh, would like to thank uh, our JICA officers uh, because uh, they provide these uh, laboratory facilities. Uh, this, uh, because uh, this processing unit, uh, uh, food processing unit uh, that helped to develop this type of uh, yogurt and they did some uh, laboratory tests also help with the help of these things. Uh, and uh, these are something about uh, our, uh, this, uh, our uh, laboratories levels and uh, uh, we can, uh, in future, we can develop some value products uh, from uh, this uh, JICA uh, laboratory uh, provided under the JICA project. Uh, this is one product. Uh, we, our, our faculty has developed some other products also. Uh, our another department, Department of Agriculture Biology, this product is developed by Department of Animal Science. Uh, department of Agriculture Biology also developed a super compost under the uh, UBL funding. Uh, that product also uh, in future is uh, very soon and that also uh, going to be commercialized and an agreement is going to be signed. Uh, another product uh, is about, uh, another bioplastic is developed by Department of Agriculture Chemistry staff. Uh, they, that also uh, that some, uh, some possible commercial partners are seeking for plan, uh, signing the agreement. So, in future, uh, we can have develop uh, this type of product. So these are some examples. Uh, in future, we can develop this type of uh, commercially viable products by using this JICA laboratories and other uh, other facilities. So with this, uh, uh, we we will be sure that uh, uh, at our UBL director set. Uh, we, in future, by using this uh, JICA laboratories, uh, we would like to uh, solve this some of the uh, problems because we can invite some industries, we can have some uh, collaboration with them, identify their problems, 
and uh, we can uh, provide those uh, problems as a solution uh, as a final year projects and uh, some of uh, our students can do and find the way to how to uh, develop, uh, how to solve these problems. It may be helpful uh, to the society and uh, our country. So with this uh, brief talk, uh, I would like to uh, conclude my address of gathering. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, sir, for your valuable lecture. Next, we are excited to hear some words from the one who contributed and worked hard for the success of this product, Mr. S. Sivadarshan. We are pleased to have you here to enlighten us with sharing the success behind the invasion of Bale Shop Incorporated Training Yogurt. I kindly request all distinguished guests who seated at the head table to return to your reserve seats to enjoy the presentation. Respected Vice Chancellor Professor S. Sri Satna Raja, Dean Faculty of Agriculture, Dr. S. Vasanda Roba, Professor Lexus, UBL Director, Chairman Mullai Milk Processing Industry, Consultant Mullai, and all the staff members attached with University of Jaffna and guest. A very good morning to all. Before I start my presentation, first of all, let me thank every single person who has supported me on this journey. Welcome you all to my successful journey behind the invention of Bales Rock Incorporated Drinking Yogurt. First, what is the yogurt? So the simple question, all are know it's a healthy and popular food and it's produced with a lactic fermentation of the milk by lactic acid bacteria. After the fermentation, the resulting uh, pleasant, sweet and sour product. There are different type of yogurts are available in the market, ringing yogurt and scent yogurt, uh, stirred yogurt, but the basic principle is the fermentation. So, in the United States Food and Drug Administration allow yogurt uh, to be rated as a one of the uh, world healthiest food. So we can understand the um, uh, importance of the yogurt. During the fermentation, lactose was predigested. So some people have the problem to the uh, lacto lactose intolerance. So they also easily consume and it helps to the digestion also. And some studies show it's reduced the risk of the breast cancer and ovarian cancer. And it's uh, yogas are helped to lower the blood cholesterol level and reduce the risk of heart disease. Uh, if we consume the yogurt, they are introducing some beneficial bacteria to our, to our colon system. So it's also a very beneficial one. And in the present situation, we are uh, visit anywhere the supermarkets or store, we are finding the large variants of drinking yogurt. In the very early stage, we only find the vanilla and some other flavor only. Uh, the wide acceptability of the yogurt is excellent ways to fortify with fruit extracts. That's why he, we have chose the drinking yogurt for at the, that syrup. Then you can ask why we didn't add the butter. In case of butter, it's a fully fat. So we can't add the water-based pulp. But it's a spices, we can add in that one. And in the uh, flavored milk, it's not a functional product. So we are choosing the functional product to support our colon system also. And our target is produce the ringing uh, yogurt as a whole meal. Uh, whole meals. So in the set yogurt, the pulp uh, set, uh, incorporation is uh, not in uniform and it's not less quantity. So that's why we are going to the ringing yogurt. And next, uh, we choose the bale food. So it's a Tamil is referred as a bilbampalam. Uh, in southern part, people more recognized than other others. They use the chips to make tea and the flower. But we are not much of we are using that one. Still, it's under the under the utilized fruit crop, fruit. Uh, because in the that means the, we have a, it's a, we have good nutrition value with the lowest price. Present situation, one kilo of pineapple nearly 900 rupees. So we can't use that type of into the uh, industrial level. Then definitely in the present we in the loss. But in, in, in comparatively, this is very cheapest than other and 
high new high new new process and medicinal value. And this has so many uh, medicinal value, anti antibacterial activity, anti ulcer uh, properties, anti diabetics, and etc. So it's a very good choice for the uh, bear fruit. That's also one of the success to our study. And compared to the uh, other commercial available yogurt, our one is the best of the best because we didn't add to the preservative or artificial colorants or other any other flavors. And then Mulay also target that they are trying to produce the good product. So this is uh, we are the good uh, relationship to Mulay and we are produce the good product. And if we can uh, consume the yogurt, the, we, it's a uh, help to flush out the ulcer uh, causing bacteria to our colon. And if we, we uh, daily intake one gram of the phenol from the bell fruit, it, it's also reduce the risk to uh, colon cancer. So it's a very difficult task to every day find the fruit and eat. So if we simply incorporate with the yogurt, so easily every day we can consume that part. And our research is conducted in Department of Animal Science and Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jatna, and Dairy Unit and Animal Units and Laboratory, JITA Research and Training Complex, and some similar parts are conducted in the Palmyra Research Institute. Our time duration is December 2019 to July 2020. Uh, little bit earlier, we have started, and uh, we first we uh, prepare our uh, and molding our skill because we want to produce more amount of uh, uh, yogurt. So we, in the time, one time we can't uh, polish ourselves. So uh, well, before we prepare, uh, we are uh, well skillful that. That's also our one of the success. Then uh, main step we are uh, doing the research of preparation of bell snap, then preparation of yogurt again and break the biogram, and determination of the physiochemical properties and other things for our research purpose. Then first, the uh, uh, first thing is separating the pulp from the bear. Bear have some uh, uh, have some high fiber. So we want to remove the fiber and seeds and took the flesh. And they then we want to add some distilled water to uh, to the pulp and develop we develop the protocol to make a pulp and pasteurized. Then we prepare the yogurt and incorporate that part and we finally produce the product. Let's see in details. So first, we are we are selecting the uh, three three type of preparing three type of uh, shrubs. And after the sensory, we took uh, one is the best. Again, we want to roughly add some amount and check. Then again, check we uh, we are uh, find the some limit are the preferred preferred by the consumers. Then again, we minutely. Uh, took the at the one by one, uh, increase the level of the shrub in the one to one by percentage. Then again, we want to conduct the uh, sensory evaluation and find. In every step, we did the sensory, and then only we can find the best. Uh, and this is also one of the success thing. And uh, in this, this is the treatment three is the good uh, shrub we are selected. In we can see the only one or two places they are closer to the control. Well, in other added, uh, well added uh, trials are, uh, there are good, uh, gain good score in the other, um, other uh, attributes. And uh, in the every week we have checked our product into the every week wise and they are every treatment, every treatment are performed well in every week. In, in term of sensory attributes, has a pleasant, it's give a pleasant uh, flavors and aroma, and it's uh, become a very golden uh, yellow color. After the consume, you can feel the that flavor in the after few minutes, and texture and the consistency is very uh, uh, satisfying in the consumer levels. Then our every findings are fall under the uh, area with the. Really, some people did the same research and they are successful. Succeed. They are falling and that our findings also they are limits. In 
the, in case of protein, the control sample more than 3% have, but in our bell uh, added uh, samples are fall under 3 to 2.5 percentage. And the main thing is our control is exit 3.5 fat, but in the bell added yogurts are fall under the uh, 3 to 2.5. So in the Sri Lankan standard, if the fat is contained from yogurt uh, 0.5 to 3 percentage, we can recommend as a low fat yogurt. So it's a very good point for us and it's a very good, good to support the health. This is a low fat yogurt, so anyone can eat without any fear. So in the microbial, in the microbial quality, uh, in the males of have some antimicrobial activity. So uh, if when we prepare the shrub, we can uh, store it in the seven to eight months in the refrigerator condition. And our research time also there are no any coliform gone per percent in the jog. And uh, finally, uh, our shrub, uh, male and water percentage, uh, the, our treatment three is we selected as the best. Uh, according to the sensory evaluation and then after fermentation is recommended to add the bale syrup for the drinking jogurt. If before add there are some unknown uh, orders and the, the pulp also under the fermentation that the, uh, one did it, it's, uh, produce unknown uh, effects of air event that one. And finally the treatment one two are selected for the uh, incorporated level of drinking jogurt. Yeah. We would like to thank UBL for creating bridge with Mullai milk processing industry and giving priority to launch the product to commercial level. And moreover, we would like to forward our sincere gratitude to Mr. S. Dawasilan, Chairman, Mullai milk processing industry to accepting to commercialize the product and given recognition of the product and the Department of Animal Science, Faculty of Agriculture and University of Yatna. And uh, we are doing the, the uh, uh, took the activities in the Mullah meat processing industry and we uh, transfer the technology uh, to their requirement. Then finally we successfully uh, produced the trial batch and then uh, Mullah came and inspect and they are satisfied. After that uh, they are uh, launching the product trial as a uh, in the market and I would like my request to our juniors you have the, all the resources here, so please utilize the time and uh, focus on your research and produce more product in future. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Sivadarshan, for your detailed presentation. Now we are happy to share a video clip about the journey of Bear Incorporated bringing your
ஆதிக்கத்தை கொண்ட மக்கள் வாழும் நாடு இலங்கை ஆனால் நவீன வர்த்தக மயமாக்கலால் ஆரோக்கியமற்ற உணவுகளினையே நாம் நாடுகின்றோம் விற்பனை செய்யக்கூடிய அளவில் அதிகமான பாலை உற்பத்தி செய்கின்றார்கள் ஆனாலும் பால்வாடுக்கு தட்டுப்பாடு நிலையில் இந்த காலத்தில் கூட பாலை வாங்கி தடுக்கும் மக்களின் அளவு குறைவாகத்தான் உள்ளது மண்ணில் உள்ள வளங்களை வலிமையாக மாற்றுவது வந்து எனது மக்களுக்கு தேவையானதும் அத்தியாவசியமான ஒரு மாற்றத்தை உருவாக்க வேண்டும் அந்த வகையிலே இந்த நிறுவனத்தை நிலத்தின மாதத்தில் உருவாகப்பட இருந்த பகுதியிலே நிறுவனங்கள் உற்பத்தி செய்கின்ற தரமானது தூய்மையானதுமான பாலை நாங்கள் உதாசீனம் செய்கின்றோம் இதே போல நாங்கள் உதாசீனம் செய்யும் எத்தனைய உணவு உற்பத்திகளை பெற்று முகார தயாரிப்புகளால் சர்வதேச நாடுகள் கொள்ளையாக மீட்டிக் கொள்கின்றார்கள் இதனால் நாங்கள் சிறந்த முகர்வுப்புற கலாச்சாரத்தை இழந்து வரும் அவர நிலையில் இருக்கின்றோம் விவசாயம் கலப்பட்ட உற்பத்திகளை உருவாக்குவது எனது முக்கிய நோக்கம் அதாவது வகுக்கின்ற சமூகத்திற்கு ஆரோக்கியமான உற்பத்தி பொருட்கள் கொடுக்க வேண்டும் அதன் மூலம் ஆரோக்கியமான சமுதாயத்தை உருவாக்க வேண்டும் என்பது எனது முக்கிய நோக்கம் எனது பிரதேசத்தில் உள்ள இளைஞர்களை வலியுறுத்தி அவர்களுக்கு வேலைவாய்ப்புகளை உருவாக்கி எனது சமூகத்திற்கும் எனது தேசத்திற்கும் பொருளாதாரத்தில் ஒரு பண்ணையாக இருப்பதை எடுத்து நாம் பெருமை அடைகின்றோம் தீவிரங்களை நம்பி இருக்காது இயற்கை தாவர இலைகளோடு பொற்களையும் உணவாக பாவித்து பல பசுக்களை பராமரிக்கின்றார்
I cordially invite Professor Mrs. S. Sivachandran, Dean, Faculty of Technology, University of Jaffna, to receive the product. And I cordially invite Dr. R. Srendra Kumaran, Dean, Faculty of Medicine, University of Yatna, to receive the product. And I cordially invite Professor P. Rajan, Dean, Faculty of Science, University of Yatna, to receive the product. University of Japan. And we are happy to invite Mr. T. Panantin, Additional Director, Small Enterprises Department, Japan, to receive the product. And we cordially invite Mr. V. Kandiban, Dreistra, University of Yatna, to receive the product. to invite Professor K. Ogata Jayaka, Chief Advisor, to receive the product. We kindly call a student representative to receive the product. Beloved mother of Mr. S. Tavasilan, Chairman of Online Processing Industry, to receive the product. And we are happy to invite Mr. Madhuramani to receive the product. Finally, we 
Cordial invite Mr. K. Kolendran, Engineering Advisor and Consultant, Mullay Industrial Groups. Now, we kindly call Mr. Kantasami Kulendra, Engineering Advisor and Consultant, Mulla Industrial Group, to address the gathering. Uh, I really thank you for all the people, Vice Chancellor, Minister Yapna, and the Dean and other people, and all the investors, to give the opportunity to our Mulla to do. Or join for this event. Uh, actually, uh, the Mulla Industries, uh, how we started is a uh, long story of that one. Actually, we, we have uh, started to give an opportunity for the local people to develop their skill and the, to, to encourage the local product to the international market. That's our target. Uh, I think uh, five or six years ago, actually, uh, I was uh, doing my work in Kalamba. I am a mechanical engineer from the University of Toronto, and I am doing my job in uh, Columbia area. At that time, we noticed in North, North and East provinces, there is not that much of industries in the region to develop our local product to the value added product to the market. Then we thought it to, we had to give some value added to our product. Then uh, uh, I was uh, discussing with Mr. Sealand, he was in UK and we had to do something to local. That, then that's the first step. We study what we can do it. Then uh, I was, uh, in my uh, past experience actually I have working for uh, Nestle, Milko, Ontera, every dairy companies, then I noticed they have not most of the our product like milk uh, for a week, uh, around 40,000 litres of milk transporting from North Provincial to the uh, Southern Provincial to process the milk. When we thought it was the wet milk, we had to stop and we had to do the processing in North itself. Like the coconut product, some other product also going. Then we thought it we had to give a value added to our product and we had to give it for the, our local market. Then I was uh, requesting Mr. Sealer, okay, there is uh, some investment we want to do it. Then he also agreed we had to do something to nation, therefore I am ready to come and do it. Then I was uh, taking him to, uh, for, uh, I invited him to come to Sri Lanka. And we both together start this journey to develop some dairy industries in local. Then at the same time we was searching even whatever the machineries and all the things that we was designing myself, I had some design, I was an engineer, designed all the equipment. And we try to get the most of the used machine, wherever the is un, un, uh, it is given to the some other like a societies and all the things, they are not used that one. We find out that one and taking that machines and started this journey to produce the output. And also we have the facilities to do the continuous pasteurizing of the milk. Actually we last uh, two, three years we are producing the milk, at in the, but in our North region, I don't know whether the people are not that much like to the fresh milk, the pasteurized milk. When, when we are considering that one, the normally the uh, 
Rice milk is the one, the pasteurized milk. It's not the, because what are the milk we are taking the other in the package, the, the truck pack and all the, these, they are the sterilized milk, the USD milk. But best the milk is the pasteurized milk. But that you, uh, the lifetime is seven days. But then we thought it to be produce a continuous pasteurizing milk plant in Mulla. We have a continuous pasteurizer there. Yeah? And we have a commodulizer, we have all the machinery set up, we set up there. Yeah? And uh, we produce the packet milk there. Yeah? And uh, we market it that in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the event of the, the shortage of the milk powder in the country, in the fresh milk, there is a big demand. We had it in the southern town. So in Colombo and when we are taking the milk to the Colombo, uh, morning 7 o'clock when we reached from here, 10 o'clock we have finished the more than 2,000-3,000 packets of milk. Uh, now we are uh, encouraging, we are here to find the way to all the uh, local uh, North region people to use to do the fresh milk. At the same time for the school children also we are trying to develop some milk packets to the pasteurized milk bringing. So it's the very nutrition. Huh? And also this is the uh, first step. We have started the Mulla milk and uh, we, are, uh, we are expecting to encourage this one to the other all the product like a coconut or some other product, whatever the available fruits, coconut, all the things we have to do a value addition to it locally and we like to do that one to the other market. It's even the export market, we can do it. We have that all the technologies for that one. With the, with the, like this one, with the well, we have the, give the, we can get the, all the support from the universities to get the knowledge to engage it. And also we have the, all processing technologies we have. It. We are requesting all our people to Support that, that one, you can encourage a local product to a value added product to the market. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, thank you very much for it. Thank you so much, sir. Next, we are delighted to invite Mr. S. Thamasilin, Chairman of Mullah Milk Processing Industry, Mullah Thivu, Sri Lanka which provide a wide range of products that deliver high quality, healthy dairy nutrition to consumers. Mullai milk processing industry is the first largest dairy product industry in Mullai Thivu, Sri Lanka, which supports the nation's children to grow healthy. Sir, we are warmly welcome you to share your thoughts with us. Good morning to Professor Sri Skandaraja, Vice Chancellor, and my lecturer. And, uh, Dr. Vasanda Ruba, the uh, Agriculture Department, and Mr. Kannan, Dr. Kannan, and the uh, UBL Director, Dr. Isra Morgan, and all of the special guests, and our staff, and the students, and friends. I'm very proud of to be here, this movement, because back 80s, 86, we, were, we used to run around this place, but after almost uh, many, many years, I'm here on this point. Uh, I was remembering uh, the past lives. But however, we have to do, develop the industries. In the stepping stone, we have, I have come good friends and relatives who supported me to be on this stage plus the intellectuals and the technical peoples behind me. That's the way I'm on this position now. I'm happy to uh, launch the product with the Yapna University because this is the way all our youngsters and the education system has to come through to support for the nation and the country development to their country. So, like the bare fruit tree, the many people will put the high effort, but today they reach it. We always will support as an industrial to bring out the technology to use the, our nation economy development. This is the path we have to create from you guys 
need to be researched and finalized and best efficient product has to come out. Then as an industrialist or the business people, we have to move to the next level. Then final stage, as a consumers, you have to support us. When you support yourself as a consumers, the product, our product, we have to support and grow the, our economy. As our industry is uh, past five years now, we are in a six years role. Uh, we, when we started, we have been given the job opportunities for over 30 plus 70 uh, employers. The farmers and many people have been getting benefit. Unfortunately, during the COVID uh, time or the fuel crisis and country situation, we are a little bit down. But we are not worried. Still, we are pushing our high effort because this is an international disaster. So we are not going to bother about that. But still, we are running with my high effort of staffs are here behind me and uh, the many people support. So we would like to uh, request as a business people or the consumers, the education department or the government sectors, you all please support for our product. Then only we can grow the economically and we can do many things like this. Without your support, we can't do it. Because the, our product, we, we don't add the chemical. We want to do the healthy product. That's our concept. That's why he mentioned, that's how we come to the bail also. Because we don't want to encourage the, add the chemical uh, physically, because we know all. Because when we add the chemical, at the end of the day, our body consumes chemical, it's going to be the sickness. So many new diseases are coming now. So we, were, we are very strict on it. Because of that, we had faced a lot of challenges. In the beginning, we do get a lot of returns. Because we can't give the long dates. Only 20 to 26 days we give the life period. Some other product, you know, they're in the market. Uh, three months, over three months also, you can, can get the dates. You know the reason. We don't want to do that. So in the early stage, we faced a lot of losses. But now we are stable. Our customers understand that what is in there, what is the quality, how we are producing the product. So now we are moving further and further in the market side. So still we need your support. Uh, I'm uh, expecting, I mean, here after we will reach more places, all the government department and also when the BCO was talking, when you have uh, programs and we can order it. We will, we will deliver to your door, depending on the quantity. Or the product are available in the local supermarket. Many supermarket, popular supermarkets, you know that, so they say available. Just try our product. Any anything negative, straight, we can you can contact us and report us. If it is good, as is as usual, pass it to your friends. It's a good product, then let's go. So please, we when you support it, it's a circuit. When you support it, we will grow. When we grow, we will make another next move to our community. So this is how the system has to run. We believe on that. So please keep supporting. We will keep supporting our community and nation. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much, sir. The University of Jaffna is a pioneer institution in the northern province of Sri Lanka and has marked its outstanding performance among the Sri Lankan universities. It's indeed an honor for us to welcome our Vice-Chancellor, Professor S. Sri Sathya Raja, to address the gathering. Hey Krishna, Ina Bandho, Jagat Pade, Kovisha, Bhubya, Ganda, Radha, Kanda, Namaste. So we always see Lord Krishna with the cow and the flu. So according to Vedas, he is the main element of this entire material universe. You all know Krishna, you have a Krishna in Japan. Uh, so maintain the world, actually he created this cow. Cow is the one, even whenever Janga had a cow, so it's a black one, early morning it leaves my home goes around the paddy field or 
land or in the strike street nearby bushes not graze a single cow so it eat the weeds and grass and unattended things no one care then is come back in the evening and bless us with the milk the best food item in the world ever produced coming from nothing from the weeds we always think of scientists how to destroy the weeds the so milk comes from weeds then the man made sorry the lord made villages even japan there are a lot of villages the tokyo is the most densely populated city in the world so but man made cities so when things were in the village no problem you don't worry about the value added products you take get the cow and get the milk grow the milk and drink and enjoy and the excess milk you prepare as a herd and keep it for few days and you use that one also with your rice and everything and eat particular celebrate metra celebrate mulla the celebrate this was not the problem but the modern problem is the cities and towns they depend on supermarkets no more cows in the home or the high rise flats are coming eh? now they are rocketing sky drive they are coming so it's a modern world modern problem so can we change this now no so we had to accept this so is it responsible to the universities to respond to this i know the civil engineers are there they are responding the infrastructure logistic transport big issues are coming we grow in 3g 4g 5g communication people are can't come from top to bottom even to communicate anymore to collect their letters so it's now going whatsapp and this me mails and all this now they accept the thing so the bill fruit is not new for us in this part of the world it is a lord shiva's tree and is famous for keeping coolness because we offer this bill leaves to lord shiva the lord shiva is a fiery divine what do you call uh, demi god or whatever a godly figure in our vedas he always a fire one you know you see lord divine dance and all this is a fire god so uh, full of uh, you know even underneath the earth there is a big uh, you know the fire bowls are there so even the creation originated with the fire so is a fiery deity for him we offer water as well as base free cool down and our system also we have to maintain whether this body is 90 uh, irrespective of uh, winter country or minus 30 in some countries now we have australia 40 50 celsius but we have to maintain our body in the 98.4 where air condition operates or heat operates irrespective of that we have to maintain it for this purpose we have to take food according to the needs we can't eat what the scottish man eat here they eat hakis but here we eat milk rice i don't think we can adapt this because this body environment and things works so the bare food only here so we have to utilize to cool down i know people are now stressed hurry worry curry uh, the soja beans coming my wife likes it very easy you know cut the pack and put it in so this base fruit and base tree is very indigenous to us it has been according to the arangan nalvena anai potti 
According to Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, we said good food has been used by traditional medicine, medicine people to treat people for various means which I don't know. But I know something. Recently I was prescribed by the doctor metformin. Okay, don't worry, I'm 60 years old, no more girlfriends, so I am openly says. So I depend on metformin nowadays. The doc doctor prescribed it. Then I went to the internet and checked what is this metformin all about? What is the origin? What will it do for me? Then I found out the scientist doesn't have any clue. They don't know the mechanism, how it works. But it's still they prescribe. Why? Because they said they got this medicine from the traditional medicine of Europe and Chinese. From a particular tree of Greek origin. From a tree. That for me. Now Entire world is consuming this. Yes, we check it. I'm not lying. It's still the mechanism is not known. It's still people debate about it. But they prescribe no other alternative way. This is the growing science. 4G to 5G, 5G to 6G come. Right? We are growing. Even little advancement may save us from the life. That's what the partnership coming. So before I go into big lecture, I have this weakness of talking too much. So uh, I would like to really want the time. Okay, take a Toyota. Do you think the Toyota coming from Japan? No, it's, it's mainly from there. But the, all the parts are done. Fuel system is done in some other country. The brake system is done in some other country. The electronic control part is done in some other countries. We different different companies are doing, even maybe in Bangladesh, maybe in Malaysia, maybe in Indonesia. But it has been put together, but they have a mastermind in the operation. So here also, we have a partnership today. Okay? Partnership facilitated our student research. Without R&D, nothing. First, you had to understand the process. The mechanical engineer was there, producer Morotov. What's the name? Can be crew? What's the name? What's the name? Kulendra. In our Jaika representative here, uh, Miss Takajoma, she's been even residing in Sri Lanka and helping us. Then our consultant recently arrived. Now, how many times you have visited? Even our people are not here. He accepts this invitation and come. He has no partnership in this Mulla UBL work. That is the strength of Japanese. Participation bring progress. Here what happened? All are in the senior command room. You understand? Mulla come. One entrepreneur has come here. I am proud he is my student, Dalmat Sats. Dalmat Statistics, Tavasila. Would you believe it? Not biology, not agriculture. Agriculture people say in the bank, AR. No, it is happening now. Now we promote this big promotion. It is a big promotion. Today, okay, Jaika uh, Okato Kushushu, I don't know, he has been here. Then he told in the last ICC, ICC, ICD, is that right? ICDA, International Conference on Dry Zone Agriculture, we understand that. So, where he gave a talk, smart agriculture, I copied it. Then in another conference I said, Simaj is spiritualism. I, I referred to his speech. You got to be Simaj. You can't tell my son to anymore to go and graze the cow as I did. Things change. They have the phone. They have the ideas. They have a better brains. Yes, they start is very high level. 
That's what happened to Tawazina. We went to England. Then he saw all these food industries. Every developed countries, all these, you know, the value added agriculture, they are good. UK good in agriculture. France good in agriculture. Agri-mean poultry, farming and everything. When you come to cow, even today we'll have a function at 12.30. The Hindu studies dean is there. We are going to produce another, think about another product of cow. That is cow dung. From the cow dung, another Lord Shiva's uh, symbol or another application is called Tirunu. Today we are going to think about it. How to produce best quality this bee booty. We apply those things into the forehead, all the joints after taking bath. Bathing, we take it. Then our ancestors never had any arthritis problem. They lived for 100 years. Now everyone living. Change in the joints. We will have a meeting today, 12 30. So you understand, the University of Japan is thinking about it. The cow is the only animal in the world, even its excrete is celebrated. Nothing else. Even the professor's excrete, or king excrete, queen excrete, no, thrown into the pit. Not the cow dung. So, ladies and gentlemen, today we have Uzzamil, our another Jaika expert. They gave a laboratories. This is the best thing they do. Our animal science student, they, they did the research. They identify the problem. That is the most important thing, identifying, knowing. Then your path is set. Vision, mission, objective. People now talk about it, strategic plan, rubbish. If you ask in the interview, all the people, what is your vision? They go like this. Most of the people, even their vision in their life is not set. Then mission. So this guy, Anand, now is in New Zealand, another country celebrating. New Zealand ambassador was here last week. Then I said, what is your mission? Because you, your embassy is already in uh, Singapore and New Delhi. Then why do you establish here in Sri Lanka in this modern age? Because everything can be done in remote. Right? Because they have been, New Zealand embassy was operating in Singapore and New Delhi for a long time. Now they shifted the office, permanent office in Sri Lanka. In Kalam. I asked, oh, okay, what is the objective, sir? He said, no, sweetie, we want to have our agriculture product and commercialization of our stuff. We need to, eating is very high. Because our people consume a lot of anger. You know, now his price is rocketing. You know, we have a love. He said Sri Lanka is a wonderful place, consume a lot of New Zealand products. New Zealand is an agriculture country. So they are shifting here. It is a difficult time, they won't have their products. There were a lot of stories about anger, some sort of impurities or some sort of, you know, kind of issues, medical issues. So they said it's a high time to come here. So here, the Jaika Laboratories, Animal Science Department, Faculty of Agriculture, Tawasinan had a passion to do something for the people after establishing his life, migrating to uh, Zambia for a, as a science math teacher. From there, 1990 we migrated. 1986 he got passed out, I passed out in 1983. I was a SL lecturer to him, and then he was in England. A man from Heights moved to Mullati when he was in the primary. He had education in Pudukudi uh, Mahavidyar, and he wanted to return something back. So God bless him. But is today sitting in the auditorium as a proud lady. So we really, because whatever theory you make, if you don't put in the practice, then is what? Then we cannot be like Japan. 
we cannot be like Korea, we cannot be like France, we cannot be like Australia. Australia only 200 years old. What is the origin of Australia? Aborigines and deported mates. Then in, today Australia celebrate mateship. They don't say sir, they don't say anything. Mate, hello mate. Because country originated by mates, prisoners. Only 200 years old. Best welfare service, best. Okay, they are natural wealth. We are our natural wealth. So you be a, ah, oh, instead of one thinking, sir, missing me. No, this man become very resourceful in this university, I know. He is indispensable. Normally I say, no one is indispensable in this world. Everyone has a substitute. Now each and more, I think I want to shift from zoology to UBL permanently, if I get the permission. Because he's become very resourceful in this uh, intellectual property and, you know, well versed with this, you know, this industrial UBL matters. You know, another biology student is a manager. He is the son of my classmate. A dentist son. Any other paper? Sri Padmanabha. Sri Padmanabha, I know. Okay. He is the hardest name. What is your name? Anurag. Anurag. He is the son of my classmate. So these are happening now. It's a big marriage. So I was in Harriet Watt in UK. Harriet Watt, you know the Watt, the James Watt. 40 watt, 60 watt, 100 watt. He's another mechanical engineer. He put the rain engine on the track. Right? Under his name there is a university. It's a technology university. There was a concept they developed because UK was doing not well in the 70s. They were under recession, economic recession in the 70s. There are a lot of problems. Their car companies are completely overtaken by Japanese in the 70s. Tax and Mitsubishi and all these uh, vehicles were coming. Nissan, then the Austin, Jaguar are closing down. At the time they were waking and no more British Empire was exist. So they thought of creating excellence, industrial partnership. For that purpose, they created industrial parks in the university. Industrial park, permanent park and residential facilities were given for industries to collaborate with the researchers in the university. So our researchers even in time, they don't know what to do. Particularly now, maybe they return here. The industrial park. So after this uh, academic lectures, they go to their park. Where all these industrial parts are run by industries because the R&D completely running like a Sony or Toyota in their own village is difficult. So they run in small industries, they, they would have a small park. So our researchers go, not like a student project, go from, you know, time to time our resources are tapped. So it's a big marriage today. I am very proud. The UBL doing well, I think. Well, in a sense, as uh, our Vasanduruva said, is in a way not, I am not proud. At least, even a million journey begins with one step. Oh, the Englishman says, better never than now, late. After 47 years, we have excess now, 30 years ago. Even Peridania, no problem, no. How many years? Maybe 70 years. After 30, 47 years of existence, it's the first commercialization product. There are few coming in the patent level. And Isra Mohan is very proud. I think he made our university glorified. Others are doing research. But this partnership, and Tawasil also our alumni. So it's wonderful. It's the first commercialization. I, and the second one coming, as Radhu uh, Ruva said, uh, the Burmi uh, compost is another engineer. He is running a Mallya farm in 
Gaudiya is exporting Malia poo. Now our people are in plastic poo, but Malia poo exporting is doing organic fertilizer from our agronomy department, right? Back uh, department. So things are growing. Another two patents I got. Uh, one is for face at uh, uh, this uh, automated uh, dispenser of uh, what do you call this uh, sanitizers and all kind of smart device. Another one now I'm coming from Internet of Things from engineering. So is there another dimension? Uh, we are growing. Uh, maybe uh, we are late, uh, but. We are in the right direction. There is a light of beacon is there. I think I want to thank the uh, government officers and you have a big part to play. It's not just, I think, I don't know whether you are permanent here or you get transferred. I don't know. So this is another scenario in Sri Lanka. So I want to thank our uh, uh, and here. Uh, we have a big role to play than me. You know, I am a mathematician. I am a mathematics student. Today delivery. So things are happening. Maybe by accident. I was born by accident, maybe. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm a planned baby or accidental baby. It's not a matter to debate. But we celebrate our life. Because we are born. Right? So then again, additional director, small enterprises. America, you know, small enterprise percentage, entire economy, the world. Largest economy in the world, more than 57 percent. You think NASA is so the arms production is the best? No. Dynamics, the tank producers? No. Small micro industries. How the poultry is? Kentucky came about, right? So, small enterprise development in the Bhavi Madam Commissioner Department of Corporate Development. Huh? You say you have been invited here. So, Corporate Society was one of the celebrated society in Japan a long time ago. Now, we want to go back again to the basic and get done because Sri Lanka is now hitting the rock bottom. You can't go below this. You can't go below this. So, we are rise. Rock bottom, but we are in the public money, you know, still we are enjoying life. A lot of issues are coming up. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to go big lecture, but the Jaika Oshi visionaries, they gave support being in this country permanently and supervising and the method of doing actually help us. Why? Sri Lanka has the culture of swindling the money coming from foreign countries, swindling, put it in their pocket first, and project go collapse. That's the history of Japan, because how much loan we got? 50 billion, 60 billion, what happened? Where is the product? So Japanese they know, German they know. That's the Japan projects are run by Yaika, and German projects are done by GT said and not the new name for GT said. Now, you know, they permanently stay and do. Permanently stay and do. Even the German tech is now celebrated one. Help us a lot. Two countries without resource leading the technology and our advanced engineering, high tech, both Japan and Germany. Right? The most less resourceful countries, there is no like uranium and petrol and this and that. So they live with the brain. The Japanese, some sort of similarity with that. No mountains, no rivers, uh, no, no nothing. But still we had a long history, tradition, culture. They say Tamil language is very close to Japan. There was some research. So I don't know. So we have a long journey to go, uh, it is a good initiation, good initiation. I think, you know, few people made all the difference in the world. Thomas Alva Edison, some scientists, 
even our chap we had, you know, short to merend, Pandi Kurta and Odi Griega, third of I would have been done. I love it and I'm holding it now. Short to merend. So maybe today I had some talk from, right, with Lumbala. You never know. Even I am taking, you know, my doctor said, Shri, take, wait for me. I trust him. Guru Bharan and KV I trust him. I take it, I church. Nothing is very clear. But we trust. It works. So today a lot of research to be done, I think, uh, support our product, to make it. Animal science is not just goes in the air. I think Pradeepa, Madam Head, and now Chinnaya Madam, and all these people. Uh, thank you very much. So again I finish my story. The goat made village, goat made all arrangement to enjoy our life, but man made cities. So we caught up with a dollar problem. Only America 300 years old. But we had 3000 years history. So something we had to change your attitude. We imported, imported, imported. I did more Japanese car in here in Japan than in Kyoto. I was in there. They have public transport. Here are more cars on the road. Before we get the salary, permit come, we import the car. Even the lectures, no, no second word about it. So these are, I think, otherwise, we may have a lot of problems. So anyway, that is the story. I really want to pay my topmost respect and gratitude all who are scattered here. Uh, I see students, well wishes and uh, those who have helped us uh, achieve a little bit of money. What is that? Biology man, Basa, Madhuramani and all these hidden uh, talents are there. Welfare of our people, he was here before. Thank you very much because I am so emotional today because in new, even I am retiring now two three years from the university. I at least see the promotion event in this uh, in, the, in this university in the auditorium. It's a new kind of event. So all these partners are here. It's so wonderful. Otherwise, talking in somewhere and glorifying it not matter. Other researchers are doing and Vigna Ruben is here. Uh, it's about he's thinking about the sodium batteries, and Ravi is there uh, thinking about the more uh, dyes and size solar cells. So whatever they do, one day will pay the dividend. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Agriculture engineer is here. Uh, so all this uh, wonderful, uh, you know, theory is there, but to make it practice, we have to. The follow up, Tabasir, we are very proud of you and your team and the Murli. Uh, it's another, another uh, you know, what do you call it? Inspiration. Source of inspiration for us to move forward and believe in ourselves. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, sir, for the knowledge for speech. It's our pleasure to share that Mr. Estava Selan, Chairman Mulagi Processing Industry, is going to give benefit to University of Jaffna. We cordially invite Mr. Estava Selan to hand over the benefit. We kindly call Mr. K. Suresh Kumar, Bursar, University of Jaffna, to receive the benefit. We are inviting the staff of Mulagi team also to the stage.
Thank you. As we are close to the end of our program, let's invite Dr. Ms. S. Pradeepan, Sundar Pradeepan, and Senior Lecturer, former Head of the Department, Department of Animal Science, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna, to propose a word of thanks. Good morning, everyone. I'm profoundly delighted to take this opportunity to propose a word of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who work hard to make this day glorious and momentous in this amazing audience. On behalf of the research team, I feel immense <coughs> pleasure to express my sincere gratitude to our Vice Chancellor, Professor Sri Sakmuraja, University of Jaffna, who spared precious time from his busy schedule to grace this occasion and enlighten all of us with innovative ideas and to make this event with a historic milestone. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to our Dean, Dr. Vasanda Luba, for his support right from the beginning to till today, a constant motivator and guiding force in all our endeavors. He was the UBL coordinator when the process began. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to express my special thanks to the director UBL, Professor Ishwara Mohan, for his unfaltering support and confidence in us and bringing this event more successful. Your involvement is great to achieve the mission. Your entire effort make the product commercialized. Thank you, sir. A big thank to Chairman uh, Mullai Milk Processing Industry, Mr. Thawasilan. It's really hard to thank you from words for your great support, stewardship, vision, commitment, and taking the product to the people. Thank you very much. My deep sense of thanks and appreciation to Dr. Kannan, UBL coordinator, Faculty of Agriculture, with the great support he lends for the commercialization. Such an event cannot happen overnight. We we'll started rolling around a few years ago. It requires planning, hard work, dedication, and birth eye for details. We have been fortunate enough to support it by a team. So I owe to record my heartfelt thanks to Mr. Anand Kumar, Sivadarshan, Mrs. Sivajanani, Professor Jai Sena, and Dr. Deshani, the inventors team, to bring the glory to the department. Mr. Anand Kumar is the pioneer of the work. I would like to express our sincere thanks to our former dean, Dr. K. Surya Kumar, for giving excellent coverage to us at the beginning of this process. Thank you, sir. I'm very much grateful to Professor Sivamadi Sivachandran for supporting us forever. We appreciate everything you have done to bring, up, bring us up to this stage. Thank you, madam. I take this opportunity to place on a record our hearty thanks to all my department staff for the perfect support. Such a fantastic event was not possible without their keen efforts. They really put their zeal and zest to make all the preparation right from the beginning of the project. They are Hemakant, Jendran, Tachika, Rajkumar, Tanation, and late Mr. Sri So thank you, help, thank you for helping to achieve the impossible. On behalf of the organizing committee, we thank our head of the department, Professor Chinia, for her support to arrange this event. It is very important to thank all the members of our faculty, senior lecturers, head of the department, academic staff and supporting staff for their combined efforts bear the fruits, otherwise it would be impossible. They show strong unity and high spirit make this event highly true. Special mention to our students who have made this event even more graceful and glorified. I, mentioned, I must mention our deep sense of appreciation to Mullai team, the captain and the crew, Mr. Madhuramani for his uh, coordination during the discussion. Uh, Engineer Babananda for the support. And I would further extend my hearty thanks to Mrs. Babu and Mr. Tanajian for your participation and spending the time with us. And I thank uh, VZ Media for their kind uh, videography and photography of this event. Uh, and I uh, cannot thank everyone enough for their hard work to the completion of tasks beyond their comfort zones. Special mention to UBL manager, Mr. Uh, Anuragavan, for his spending his time and support for the commercialization. So I express all my thanks to all on the stage and off the stage to make this event great grand success. I also thank 
uh, the JICA team, Professor Ogata, to participate in this event. Uh, I would like to express my th sincere thanks to all the participants. Uh, your presence and participation make this event up to the mark. Once again, I warm thanks to all the audience in the hall for making this event a grand success. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. It's our pleasure to show that Mr. Estava Silal, Chairman of Mule Milk Processing Industry, is going to give a memorial gift. We cordially invite Dr. Estava Silal to hand over the memorial gift. We would like to invite Professor S. R. Satnaraya, Vice Chancellor, University of Jaffna, to receive the memorial gift. And we would like to Professor E. Swara Morgan, Director of University Business Lengi, University of Jaffna, to receive the memorial gift. We would like Dr. Gosnarova, Dean, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Jaffna, to receive the memorial gift. Mr. T. Tanachin, Additional Director, Small Enterprises Development, Jatna, to receive the memorial gift. And we would like to, Mrs. T. Barber, Commissioner, Department of Cooperative Development, to receive the memorial gift. Thank you for joining us. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.